Welcome to our art series, where we explore the life and works of some of the most influential artists throughout history. Today, we delve into the world of El Greco, a renowned artist of the 16th century. Born in Crete in 1541, El Greco's early life was filled with artistic exploration and growth. He learned the art of icon painting, a traditional Byzantine style, which laid the foundation for his later works. This upbringing heavily influenced his artistic style, characterized by elongated figures and vibrant colors. In the late 16th century, El Greco made his way to Spain, where he spent most of his adult life. It was here that he created some of his most famous pieces. Let's take a closer look at a few of them. One of his notable works is Giulio Clovio, painted in 1571 to 1572. This portrait showcases El Greco's exceptional talent for capturing the unique features and emotions of his subjects. Another masterpiece is the Purification of the Temple, created between 1571 and 1576. This exquisite painting depicts a biblical scene, showcasing the artist's ability to create dramatic narratives through his use of lighting and composition. During this period, El Greco also painted Christ healing the blind, both in 1570-1575 and 1570s. These paintings display his mastery of expressing compassion and spirituality through his subjects' gaze and gestures. The Annunciation, painted in 1576, is another fine example of El Greco's skill. This artwork captures the moment when the angel Gabriel appears to the Virgin Mary, beautifully portraying the tension and emotion of the moment. El Greco's portraiture ability is evident in Portrait of a Man, completed in 1575. Through the skillful use of brush strokes and meticulous attention to detail, the artist brings the sitter's personality to life. In A Boy Blowing on an Ember to Light a Candle, Sopon, from 1570 to 1572, El Greco captures a tender moment of everyday life. This artwork reflects the artist's fascination with capturing the ordinary and transforming it into something extraordinary. Moving forward, El Greco's works reveal a spiritual and introspective side. Mary Magdalene in Penitence from 1576 to 1578 and the Penitent Magdalene from 1576 to 1577 depict the biblical figure in deep reflection, embodying the artist's exploration of themes of repentance and redemption. Lastly, we have a lady in a fur wrap from 1577 to 1580. This mesmerizing portrait demonstrates El Greco's ability to capture the essence of his subjects. The play of shadow and light adds an atmospheric quality that draws viewers into the painting.